let me introduce you here to two members of this incredible group, the Gold, or I'm sorry, the Houston Ice Theater Skaters. So I have Lee Lockie and Emerson. They're both teenagers. They've been skating half their whole <laughs> lives. You've been on the ice. Tell me though, is this the first time that you've competed internationally representing Team USA? Yes, ma'am. It is really big. It's really exciting. Um, it's something I've always dreamed of. And just being able to get the opportunity is really incredible. It's very big. So it's it's not the Olympics, but almost because you're going to Bordeaux, France. Yeah. You're competing. Does it make it a little bit easier to do when you have your whole team with you? You have a team of 21 women. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier because sometimes not all the pressure is on you and you also have a team to rely on. But sometimes it is a little more stressful because if you do mess up, it sometimes messes up your whole team and not just yourself. Right. So you have that real team camaraderie. Yeah. And you know what? Give me some advice for some young gal who's watching who thinks I would love to twirl like that but I don't know if I can. It's okay to start small, right? Yes ma'am. You start small, you can start at my age, you can start as an adult. <laughs> it's never too late to start. It's just how far you want to go. You can always push yourself to do what you want to do. If you really want it, you can do anything that you dream of. Are you sure you're only 18 years old? I feel like that's good advice for anyone doing anything new. Um, so sticking with this, though, and the team, you guys are about to leave. You leave next month for this yes. big, big trip. And what can we expect to see out there? Because this is a little bit different than what we see maybe at the Olympics and that. When we say team out there, you guys are skating together. Yes. We are all, like, in the same costume and all together and everything we do. Oh, my gosh. So that must take the energy to a whole nother level. Yes, ma'am. Um... We are going to be, well, the team is like, take, like, I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. You know what? I'd be just as nervous if you put me in these states. <laughs> teams from other countries, mm -hmm. so that's going to be really big, you know, it's not like the Olympics or anything, but there's a lot more people, we're going to be competing against people from Sweden, from Canada, from France, mm -hmm. they're all over, and um, I'm going to correct you there when you say it's not like the Olympics or anything, it is like the Olympics in that you guys are so passionate about this, you've been working for this your whole life, you get to represent Team USA, represent the city of Houston, represent yourselves and your teammates out there, so I say, you know what, it's just as big, if not bigger than the Olympics, especially because you guys have such great big smiles. Now, here's the thing, though. This is a big trip. If you can imagine sending 21 young women and their coaches over to France to represent Team USA, that is a big um, journey. It's a big expense. So I'm going to tell you in about an hour here how you can be a part of the team. No skates necessary. Ah, that's important. We can all help out as a community. Yeah, and I love seeing them twirl and I spin know. and do all that behind them. It's a so impressive. Lot of talent. Thank yeah, you, lovely ladies.